If you spend a lot of money on Google or Facebook ads, hoping to get conversions from your website, the landing page that people will land onto will be of great importance. But here's the fun part. Most people ignore a very important page on their site, which can also bring a lot of conversions. And that's the about page. So in this video, I'm going to give you seven different tips you can use to ensure your about page becomes a conversion magnet. Let's begin. The very first thing you should include on your about page is a clear value proposition. Now, you can name it in different ways. You can call it your USP, your competitor advantage, your moat. The basic idea is that people when coming to your about page are immediately looking for information about whether they should trust you, if they should trust you, and what makes you different from the competition or hundreds of different competition that they can go to. So the very first few things that they see on the page should absolutely convince them that you are better than the competition and whatever strengths you have should be instantly highlighted. Let me give you an example. If you've been around in the SEO space or you tried to learn SEO a little bit yourself, then you've probably heard of Moz or SEO Moz. If I show you their about page, then you can instantly see how they utilize this beautifully. The very first line says the Moz story and the second line says we know SEO. In fact, we wrote the blog on it. Instant credibility that they've been around for a long time. And if you read the paragraph just below it, they explain the reason of doing business differently. And there are a lot of good things on this about page that I will cover throughout, throughout this video. But the instant idea is that the very first line immediately drives credibility about their business. And that's the very first lesson you should take away. What makes you different? What are your strengths? What's your unique selling proposition? Have you have a lot of experience? Have you been in the business for a very long time? That's the first line of credibility that someone is looking for when they're going to your about page. So make sure to highlight it and share it or uh, show it absolutely in the easiest way possible above the fold. The very first thing that someone reads should be that. That's the first thing. Let's talk about the second one. The second important thing to keep on your about page is your origin story. This is especially powerful if your business is completely mission driven or started with a strong desire or a strong problem that the founder actually faced and decided to solve the problem with the business. People connect with stories, people connect with other people who are in similar places as them, and people connect with people who can understand their problems. So if you're start trying to solve a problem that people are facing or have been facing for a long time, and it compelled you to start a business, that's an instant connection story for the end customer and viewer that, hey, this person understands my problem, and they might just be attracted to the mission that you have as well. And I have a couple of great examples about this. If you've heard of the shoe company, Tom's Shoes, the founder has a powerful origin story. If you go to their about page, they highlight it beautifully. The founder, Blake, was traveling in Argentina and they saw or he saw children without shoes. That experience led him to create the one for one business model. So if you buy a shoe from Tom's, they actually donate one pair of shoes for children in need. That's a powerful story and you can see it all everywhere on their website and especially on their about page. The page beautifully highlights the mission since when they've been doing this and how much they've given and what they stand for. And it instantly builds a connection in my mind at least that, hey, this is a great brand I would be want to be associated with. So that's what happens when you share your compelling great story. And another great example of this is W Beginners About Us page as well. I'll link it or share the link somewhere here and also link it in the description. And if you go to the page, one of the most prominent things or one of the top things on the page is the story behind W Beginner or why it started. And that does the job very well. If you read through the entire information, you'll instantly understand the mission behind why Double Beginner was started in the first place. So that's another prime example of why you should include your mission statement, your story, or the why of starting your business on your about page to help improve conversions as well. Let's talk about the next one. The next important thing to include in an about page is people. And not just random people, of course, people behind the business, people help managing the business or people running the business. People, of course, connect with people and trust people. So by showcasing the actual people behind the business who are helping run the business and managing the business, people are more likely to trust you. And one of the prime examples of this is once again, W Beginners About Us page. If you go to the About page and scroll past the story section or the origin story section, you'll find a review board section. And the review board comprises of all experienced folks in the WordPress space. You can go here and read about their stories, read about their credentials and what kind of information or experience they have in the WordPress space. And if all of these guys are on the review board, then WP Beginner has to be a trusted source of information, right? Well, that's the job being done here. WP Beginner is of course, one of the biggest and the well, most well-known source in the industry for WordPress information and education and news. And having the strong review board just cements that fact. The next important thing to include on your about page is social proof. 
You probably understand why social proof is important, but you might have just missed out on the fact that, hey, the about page is also a great place to include social proof. If you want to understand why social proof works, what kind of social proofs there are and how to utilize this, I've recently done a video where I'll include it somewhere on the i button here. You can go check this out and I'll link that in the description as well. But having social proof on an about page is equally important. What social proof does is just acts as a trust factor. So when people see that, hey, other people are saying great things about you and your business, instantly start trusting your business. And trust is a currency of business. If people don't trust you, they won't do business with you. And one of the businesses that uses this strategy very effectively is HubSpot. If you go to HubSpot's About Us page, they include a lot of information that I've been mentioning in this video. And if you scroll down on the page enough, you'll find HubSpot by the numbers section. And you'll find there number of global offices, 8,500 employees, and 258,000 customers. So a business that has 258,000 customers cannot be wrong, right? Or cannot be, is a trustworthy business, right? So that's what they include. And you can also see if you scroll down below is voted number one in 571 reports. They even include some link here, which you can go and read out. So if a business is rated number one in 570 reports, this business must be really good. And you can also see some testimonials here, if you scroll down below, and some other information about why HubSpot is a great choice for your business. And even WP Beginners About Us page has some social proof. If you scroll down on the page, you'll find testimonials from people saying why WP Beginner has been one of the best resources for learning WordPress for them. And of course, that also implies that it's a great resource for learning about WordPress for you as well. That's social proof in action, so make sure to include it on your About page as well. The next important thing to include on your About Us page is your mission or your vision. And why is this important is because people connect with other people who have similar values and goals. So this is your chance to showcase the why your business exists on your about page. And the benefits of doing this are twofold. Not only does it attract good customers, but it also attracts great employees because employees also have to have a shared vision with your business to work with you. And of course, it also acts as a differentiator to differentiate why your business is different and what you stand for, which ties into point number one, which I mentioned as well. So if I take the most prominent example for this is Tesla. If you go to Tesla's About Us page, the very first line on their page says, accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. The easiest understanding or easiest way to understand their mission. And that's a powerful mission to have. And if you remember Google in the old days, their mission statement was organizing the world's information. These are powerful statements which highlight what the mission of the company is. Now, you might not be a big enough company to have a mission to change the world or organize the world's information, but you still have certain values that you can live by. Even as a local business, you have certain standards that you go for and how you treat customers and how or how you operate. So those are the values that you can showcase on the About Us page, which will attract the right kind of employees and also the right kind of customers to your value system, helping you get more conversions. The next couple of things that I'm going to talk about literally will help you drive more conversions. And in hindsight, they might be so obvious that you might think, hey, I probably should have included that already. And you might have that already. But connecting all these things together will make a big difference. So the one of the two things I'm going to talk about is to include a call to action button on your About Us page as well. You probably have used call to actions on landing pages, on all the different product pages, services pages, everywhere else. But you might have just missed out including a call to action on your About Us page. So do all the work, you include so lots of social proof, your vision statement, your founder story, your mission, everything else. And the person that's reading it is like, oh, I need to work with this business, but they have no way to click and actually do business with you. That's a missed opportunity. So make sure to include a call to action there that helps you take or that helps the customer take the next step. Now, depending on the kind of business, that call to action might be sign up to an email list or hey, fill out this form or get a quote or download something as well. So whatever call to actions fits with your business, you should include that. But the importance is to have a call to action somewhere on the page so that you can just get people to or give them a slight nudge to take action and convert visitors into customers. It literally will give you more conversions. The second of the last two things to include on your about page, which will help you get more conversions is to have contact information readily available. Now, depending on the kind of business, people might, might not be ready to take action and directly start working with you or just press a call to action button, place an order or something like that. But making the contact information visible will just help them take the next step. Many businesses require more consulting upfront, pre-sales upfront, a lot of different things upfront. They might need to call you, email you, or do some things to get in touch with your business. But a lot of times the information is completely missing. So that's a lost opportunity. Especially if you're a local business, if you're a services business, this is critical to have. So make sure to have your process set up and include the right information on the page. Again, as I said, it might be just, hey, 
contact us by this email or here's a contact form that you can fill out or here's a phone number you can call directly or any other way of, of connecting even a chatbot works so make sure to have that prominently placed on the page so there's no confusion to the user how do they get in touch with your business and if you combine all of these factors together do all the things i've been mentioning that it's very likely that you start seeing more conversions from your about us page so make sure to implement everything and let us know in the comments how did it turn out did you get more conversions or not if you like this content make sure to like it subscribe it and share this with someone that may need it as well you're watching Yuvraj from w beginner i'll catch you in the next video really really soon take care